Today we actually have some really good news in the world of music. So Drake and Lil Yachty had a banger song, but it had one issue. It sampled Mr. Hotspot's song, and it sampled it a lot. Like, it looped a pretty big part of his verse, and then the beat was that they put over it was pretty similar. So they absolutely had to get his permission. That's how the music industry works anyways. If you want to sample something, even if it's pretty small, you still got to get the artist's permission, and they got to clear it. So what happened is Mr. Todd is a very upbeat, religious, like positive guy. He has a very clean image, but he makes like rap, like not like cringy Christian conservative rap music, but he makes like positive, smiley rap music. And they sampled one of those songs where he's being very positive, but they're talking about super soak of vaginas and stuff. I'm not supposed to cuss within the first however many minutes of a video, but yeah. So they're talking about like, you know, dirty, normal stuff. Mr. Todd has finally said, all right, you know what? I'll clear it, which is what I've been saying this whole time, but you got to do a clean version. Much we respect to bro. Reference. Um, and we sent it in to them. So hopefully they re-record the clean reference and we come, we come out with the clean goodness, gracious all together. So I said, it's a process, but it's, it'll be good for both of their brands like that. And I'm blessed to work with children, so we just got to make it clean for them. Like, we don't need no children getting whooped because they said this or that. You understand? And if you look at the back side, it's the children who really running these views up. So if we make sure both verses clean, Everybody coming clean. Everybody going to benefit for sure. It's a process, but we appreciate you being patient. We sent that in. They got it today. And no boys about to turn up. Like, we ain't trying to hold them back from nothing. But we just need the morals correct. That's all. This guy is honestly a real one for that, too. Like, he said he stood on his morals like you know what i'm saying like he definitely got offered a big bag just to make this song or get just to clear the feature or something like he's not a very popular artist he's not very famous or nothing like it probably was a more money than he's probably realistically was gonna make off of just having like a credit for whatever credit he'd get for using that sample like they probably offered him a big bag they negotiated with him we already know all that and he stood off all that and just said no like i'm not about to let you rap about something i disagree with on my own sound like i need y'all to change it or it's not going to happen so i appreciate and respect you know him moving like this like that's really respectable so that's i mean you cannot disrespect that like he stood on his morals like that is what it is that's what's up so all right now i'm gonna try not to get copyright strike but i'm gonna play a snippet of the actual drake and yachty song where they sampled it and stuff over Kai's and then I'm gonna play the actual OG song and you're gonna see how similar it is like it's so similar that it's almost like a remix honestly but it is different enough to where it's just a sample and stuff like that they're both bangers though both these songs are bangers they should all three just make a remix or something I really, really hope I don't get copyright strike, dude, but <laughs> I had to show that much to show like how similar the songs are, man. That shit's super similar. So I don't know, like, I don't know how it's not a remix instead of a sample. Like, go look up samples if you don't really know what samples are. Like, that's not usually what samples sound like. Like, that was a whole, that's like the whole song. They just muted, um, the honey, the honey. like they just muted that a little bit and then turned up the kicks and the bass and i think they might have changed the tempo like a little bit but it really sounds the same so it's kind of crazy that that's just a sample and not like a remix but you could see why it's so similar why mr todd was like nah y'all can't be talking about like pussy and super soak the pussy and all that stuff on my track when that's not my image so it's totally understandable hopefully and from the beginning i'm like why don't they just re-record more positive verses like it's not like you guys are both rappers as much as drake has ghostwriter allegations we know for a fact that he knows how to rap and come up with lyrics and stuff so either way they both could have came up with a brand new verse probably within 48 hours or something or like a week or something like it don't matter it don't need to be immediate like the, 
it's not like we was waiting for this song. We didn't even know it existed until Yachty sent it to Castanet to leak it. Um, so yeah, hopefully they do positive verses. Mr. Todd can maybe get a feature credit. Maybe he can lay a verse or something and we can get this song because this is a banger. This is like you play this in the whip while you're driving. Like it's a banger. Go look it up. Anyways, like and subscribe.